In this lesson we're going to learn how to make uh, this leaf. This leaf is called rose leaf and this is uh, two variations of this leaf. This right here uh, crocheted this leaf without packing cord. It does still look very textured and very beautiful, very interesting uh, simply because this one crocheted uh, and a hook was inserted into the back loop of each stitch. This is what gives this leaf uh, the textured look. And um, in this lesson, actually, we're going to learn how to crochet this leaf uh, with a packing cord. Um, still, those two leaves are a little bit different because uh, the leaf on the left in white is crocheted and the hook was inserted into the both loops. And so this is how it will look like. And this leaf, you can see very clearly, there is more texture in it and uh, the each of those uh, lines and veins of the leaf is distinctly separated from each other. And this leaf was separated, uh, uh, made uh, by inserting the hook into the back loop of the, uh, e of the each stitch. So for this project, we will, we will, in this lesson, we're going to crochet this right here leaf on the packing cord. So to crochet this leaf, you will need um, crochet thread DMC number five, cut and pedle, and this number five you will need for um, packing cord. It's uh, thick enough thread and it is uh, soft enough. I, for example, personally prefer softer. Uh, packing cord than uh, mercerized cotton. You can use number 10 uh, DMC or DMC number 20. Depends again on the thread, uh, working thread that you will use. So in this project I will use uh, working thread uh, DMC thread cotton peddler number 8. Um, but you can use 12. If you will use 12 uh, then you will need also a different hook. Uh, 0.6 millimeters and you will need a probably a little bit different packing cord. Uh, so I chose for this project a packing cord number 5 thread and for the working thread number 8. So and you will need a crochet hook uh, 0 0.75 millimeters and uh, the packing cord cut the thread 46 inches long and uh, fold it in half. So the first step, crochet chain of 17 stitches. After that, put this packing cord, the loop of the packing cord, on the hook. So you have stitch, the last stitch of the chain, and the packing cord on the hook. Grab the thread and bring thread, pull it through both packing cord and first stitch and slip stitch. So this um, what you did here, you just secured packing cord to the chain. Next step, insert the hook into the second stitch from the hook and crochet into each stitch of a chain, single crochet stitches. And don't forget you're crocheting over the packing cord. Single crochet stitches. Now don't worry that packing cords sometimes have tendency to um, create bumps on the back of your work. Uh, it is very easily can be removed and um, fixed. So you just crochet your single crochet stitches over the packing cord and ignore for a while what's going on on the back. 
You can once in a while stop, put a hook down, make sure that your last stitch is uh, stretched a little, that you will not lose it. And of course your work probably will look like mine, it will have this kind of, it will start curling. You can remove that um, by holding this chain in your hands and pick up the thread of the cord and pull on it just slightly. First of all, you will remove uh, the visibility. You will not, you don't want your packing cord be shown in this uh, work anyways. It can sometimes you can see the packing cord on the edges or on the corners, on the turning areas. So you can just pull on a cord each string one by one. Don't pull on them together. It's better to do it separately. And um, when you'll do that, your work will kind of become normal, it will be straight. It happens sometimes, it's normal, there is nothing that you did wrong, it's just the way uh, it behaves. And you can do the same thing if you find out that you have on the back of your work some bumps, and during the work I'll show you how I do that, because there's no way you can avoid uh, those bumps, they once in a while uh, appear on the back of your work. So I will show you how I deal with them and how to fix it. And insert the hook into the last stitch and crochet over the also over the packing cord. And you can look back if you don't have any bumps, you're fine. But you can also a little bit pick up your thread and the packing cord and pull slightly on it if you need to to make sure that you are first row look nice and neat and straight. You want it straight. Now, when you will, got, uh, you will get to the last uh, thread, uh, I'm sorry, last stitch, now crochet only over the packing cord. So you can pick up your packing cord. I normally connect it, pinch it together like here in the corner together with this uh, chain and crochet this way. It's like creating a loop out of packing cord. You just pinch it with your fingers and it just stays there. It's easier that way to crochet. So you make three single crochet stitches just over the packing cord and then insert the, the hook into the same stitch, into the last stitch you just crocheted, right in here. Insert the hook right in there and crochet over the packing cord and in that stitch one more time. Sometimes it does not want to. to do it, but try it anyway. And I stretched it a little bit because I insert that hook in the wrong place somehow. I actually did not insert in the last stitch, but in the it's got tight and it's not easy anymore. Okay, here we are. 
Okay. From now on, pick up that short tail of the working thread and lay it together with the packing cord. This will give, uh, and you will crochet over it. The next on the other side of the chain. Uh, why I'm doing this? I'm just avoiding weaving in. As I crochet, I will weave in as I go instead of later take care of this thread and waste my time. And crochet, single crochet stitches again over the packing cord on the other side of a chain. So at the beginning you have to stop and look at this area. Um, my cord here at the tip became a little bit too tight, it does not look very good. And so I have to adjust the packing cord a little bit better and make sure it's straight and nice and neat. And you, the way you adjust it, what I mean by adjusting, sometimes you just have to pull on a cord or stretch um, this area right here, just pulling on it to move stitches around. Okay, continue crochet. Now when you will crochet, we don't crochet um, to the very end of the row. Crochet until four stitches at the end left undone. And don't worry, the first two rows always kind of troubling. They are not easy to crochet, simply because um, the thread is very fine and crochet hook also. So this is going to be a little bit challenging at the beginning. But then uh, the rest of the rows will be easier, much easier to crochet. A lot of people don't like to crochet with a packing cord and um, give up crocheting on on a packing cord totally. Okay, now when you get to the last at the end, you notice what I did. I left four stitches, three actually I left three stitches undone here. I'm not crocheting to the very end. Then the thread that we picked up and uh, weaved in, that short tail, you can cut it off because you don't need it anymore. You weaved it in in that row. And now you will crochet over the packing cord only once, one stitch, one single crochet stitch over the packing cord and then chain one. And turn your work. And from now on, you will crochet each stitch into each stitch, inserting the hook into the back loop of each stitch. So uh, if you cannot see it on the video, you know what I'm doing. And I told you, you have to insert in the back loop. You will see it in your hands. Uh, video sometimes I on purpose using small thread simply because I want you also encourage you to use fine thread right away. You simply cannot learn crochet lace with uh, thick thread. You can practice uh, in some cases, but I encourage you right away, pick up fine hook, fine thread and start learning to crochet Irish crochet lace with fine thread. You have to learn how to use to this small sizes. Now you can see this is the bumps I was talking about right in here. Those bumps are created. They were cut by stitches and this is packing cord. So you hold this area right here, the stitch and pull on on a thread. This is the thread that was there. And then you don't want packing cord to be shown in this area anywhere in the on, on your in the area where you're turning. 
So you pull on it very gently, not 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 hard, not fast, and fix all these problems and continue. Um, there is one little tip I would give you when you hold your thread and pecking cord. Make sure that pecking cord goes together with the working thread right in here with your fingers of your left hand. That way um, you don't have to worry about um, pecking cord jumping into your work in front or in the back. Sometimes it's kind of difficult at first to use to this kind of crocheting and uh, a lot of people don't know what to do with pecking cord. So try to use it, um, keep it right here in your left hand. And again I have bumps, you can see them right here. So in order to fix it all you have to do pick up a pecking th uh, cord, one thread by one, pull on it and you can see it's disappeared. I fixed the problem. So continue crochet, single crochet stitches till the tip to the area where we crocheted three single crochet stitches over the pecking cord only. So here there's three stitches. Here they are on the, on the tip of the um, leaf right here. So we will cr crochet one single crochet stitch into the first stitch, then three single crochet only over the pecking cord. only over the pecking cord and then skip one stitch right in here on the tip and crochet single crochet into the next and of course over the pecking cord make single crochet stitch can always come back and fix all uh, problems you that sometimes come in along with. It's a packing cord needed a little adjustment once in a while. And that's okay. I'm showing it slowly on purpose that you can see every little detail how to deal with that. And continue crochet over the packing cord in the back loop single crochet stitches. So from now on, when you crochet and you come to the other, uh, to the end of the leaf, right in here, always like I did here, I left three stitches. We will come to this row, and we are not finishing this row. We are not going to finish. We will leave three or four stitches, and you can leave uh, any amount you want. You can leave three, four stitches undone, or two stitches undone. Does not matter. And you can actually change it every time. Make sure that you're making your motifs, leaves and flowers uh, a little bit different. They will not be like twins because in the nature you will never find identical flowers or leaves on any tree. So this is why I encourage you make it different. Don't have to be precise and exact the way I do in it here or the way you did first your leaf and so on. So crochet right in here. So I will leave four stitches undone. I will not crochet over four stitches. And again the same as we did right in here on that tip. Every single time you come to a turning point you need to turn and crochet different row. Crochet one single crochet stitch over the packing cord only. Chain one and then you can turn your work and continue crochet single crochet stitches over the packing cord insert the hook in the back loop only and crochet until the tip of the leaf right in here 
Now you can stop here for a moment and fix the bumps if you have. I have bumps. And to fix the packing cord right in here. I don't want it to be shown like that. It's considered a very sloppy job when you have your packing cord shown. You have to pull on it once in a while, very slightly. If you think that I am pulling on it really hard, it's not the true. I'm trying to be very gentle with my packing cord. And you don't want it to be shown on that side either. Simply because the sleeve, if you look at it, here it is. It is reversible on both sides, looks the same. So you don't want um, your work look bad on any of the side because you can bo use both of them. And still, even if you will not use the back side, uh, you want your work look uh, beautiful, not just in the front, but also on the back. Sometimes my students don't even like to show their work to me because uh, first my um, what I do, I always look on the back inside out simply because I want to see how they did their finishing work and it's very important to do it in such a way that um, it will be neat and clean so that work will look not just front will be beautiful but in the back also And again, we crochet until this area where we had three single crochet stitches over the packing cord. So here they are. I came to the same place. So uh, in the first stitch here, one, two, three over the packing cord. So I will crochet a single crochet stitch into the first. For some reason, it's difficult to insert the hook there. First stitch, crochet, single crochet, then um, single crochet, three single crochet stitches only over the packing cord. And did you notice I took the packing cord, kind of pinch it together next to the motif, uh, just to make it easier to crochet for me. Have three single crochet stitches. Skip one stitch right in here and crochet into next one. You can also crochet in this way like I did it here, not skipping any uh, stitches, just crochet around, adding three stitches, um, crocheting into the tip and the last, in the, in the middle uh, stitch, three single crochet stitches over the packing cord. That way it, uh, this area will be nice and flat and will be evenly spread uh, the stitches. So. Okay, let's continue crochet this way. And again, when you will come to the other end, you will do exactly the same thing. You will leave undone three or four stitches or two if you want, right in here. And uh, you will Crochet one stitch over the packing cord, chain one, and you turn your work. Okay, so I will stop again because you see I have bumps. And if you have them, again, don't panic. It's okay. It should be like that. It's supposed to be like that. No, a packing cord is doing this. It's not your bad work or something. So, okay. I want you to go ahead and crochet this way. Like I did before. So you're crocheting to this end, to the tip. You do not crochet to the very end. You leave like three, four stitches in here. Then you turn your work and go back this direction. Every time, remember, when you come to this tip, you crochet three stitches over the packing cord, skip one in the previous row, and continue crocheting. Again, not going to the very end. Just leaving the end like right here, you see? have here I left two stitches here I have three and three again here I left four stitches undone here three three 
and so, so on. So you can just play around with that and do it the way you want. So you continue crochet, you can stop the video and repeat all steps, exactly the same steps as I did. And um, I already have another leaf here. The one that I can finish together with you, if you have your stitch uh, leaf almost done. So uh, what you're actually looking for, I always look for uh, the amount of those edges, right, uh, tips over here, little bumps. This leaf, for example, I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right in here, I have one, two, three, one, two, three, four bumps. So it doesn't matter. You can make them asymmetrical or symmetrical. It will not uh, hurt anything. You want your leaves to be just slightly different. Here's another leaf. And I have here one, two, three, and here one, two, three, four. So just continue crochet and decide. So I will make sure that I have um, and it don't have to be four, it can be six, seven, eight, doesn't matter. Depends what kind of leaf you're making. Uh, for rose leaf, this is the just the right side size, uh, and you can do four to five bumps right in here. Leaves will look very beautiful. And also the size of the leaf determine um, on what it, it depends on what thread you used. Okay, here again we're at the tip of the uh, leaf. Crochet over the packing cord only. Three single crochet stitches. Then skip one uh, stitch of the previous row and insert the hook and crochet into the next stitch. And continue crochet over the packing cord Insert the hook, remember, every single time you go into a stitch, insert the hook into the back loop. And once in a while, adjust the packing cord that you will not have any bumps. Make sure that your work looks neat. So now again we come into the row, to the not to the very end, but leaving three or four stitches uh, undone. So I will leave here one, two, three, four. I can leave five even. Um, and the last stitch single crochet over the packing cord only and chain one. Now we turn the work and continue. So here I have one, two, three, four and I can all leave it like that, cut thread like right now and leave it the way it is and weave the ends or continue make four here and four on this side. So let's do four on both sides. And before you turn in here, uh, make sure to check if you don't have bumps. So if you have bump like I do, don't continue crochet because it's easier to pull on a cord when, in a st when it's in a straight line than when it's curved. And make sure that the tips right here, those bumps, don't have uh, the packing cord shown anywhere. So again, we will do the same thing. We come to the tip of the 
a leaf, crochet one more, then three single crochet stitches over the packing cord only, one, two, three, skip one stitch right in here on the tip of the leaf and insert the hook into the next stitch and continue crochet. Remember we want four bumps on each side of a leaf. I messed my pink cord somehow on the back. And we can crochet one more of the packing cord and we're done. So crochet, now the technique, the way you can finish it, what I will do, I'll show it to you. Chain one, I'm sorry, chain one, a single crochet over the cord and chain one. And crochet back only to the um, you can finish it here somewhere or go a little bit farther to this corner to weave in that end. And let me show you how to do this. It's kind of finishing technique for this leaf, for this motif. Because you can actually finish this motif in a lot of other ways. So continue crochet into the back loop. You just want, why I'm doing this, you want your... Um, sides right here to be kind of even thickness of them to be the, um, the same you don't have to you can just cut thread where I was just when we finish the tip and it will be still fine um, or you can do it this way again it's all depends on you how you like your motif to look like uh, when you look at old pieces of Irish crochet you will find out that this kind of leaf leaf is looking very different uh, in different works. The same leaf look like but still different simply because different people made it differently. They ate their own techniques, they uh, changed and made things the way they saw it fits right. Um, so as many people will crochet this, um, so many different techniques will be out there. So before you will turn, make sure to adjust your packing cord before you do any finished work. So everything look fine in here. You don't have any um, bumps anywhere. And uh, you can continue crochet. Or you can finish like where I am right now. So you can make one more stitch over the packing cord right in here and then leave your packing cord behind your work over there, hold it there and finish to even up the work that it will not be 
if you want to even up with slip stitches slip stitches into the tip one two and three three slip stitches at the end and that's it you can cut thread and in this particular work you can cut packing cord because as I was crocheting here your crochet is supposed to be really tight in here so you can uh, cut packing cord without worrying that it will go somewhere and weave in only this piece of thread right here and um, make sure to have a very uh, nice thin fine needle um, sometimes you can use needles that are used for um, beading they are uh, nice and their needle eye will be very narrow and very easy it will be in uh, it will be very easy to insert into something like this this is a very tight project you have to crochet tight so now we finished this we can decide which part will be right or wrong side sometimes um, people picky about it I am I'm looking at what I see here and here and somehow I like this area better don't ask me why I don't want to see it I'll tell you what I don't want to see I don't want to see this ridge right here but both uh, are really nice it does not matter where you will weave in so weave in the thread long enough piece onto the back of your work and try that to weave it in such a way that um, if you want like if you like me and you want to see this part of the leaf without ridges right in the middle just for some reason I like this middle part right in here uh, it's different you can see so here for you to compare so this is my right side I like this more than this right here so you can determine that you can see okay this is the edge where I was sewing and then go back sew one direction and then another and it's easy to insert with a very fine thread uh, and fine needle insert the needle right into those stitches and to pull it through so after you pull through two to three and three times you can cut thread and your work is done and here you have a rose leaf over the packing cord here it is 